or another transition type, you might want to consider a, a theme transition. Look for a, a theme or a metaphor, a slogan, and then that serves as your hinge between the presentation segments. For example, consider this one built around a theme of myths. You might talk about uh, the first competitor myth that I'd like to talk about or dispel is our sales team is believing in a myth that blah blah blah. Another myth that we need to dispel is, or let's say you take the theme of security blankets and you might say our security blanket last year was our income from product X. Another security blanket that we've held on to for years has been the security blanket of blah blah blah. And then you might leave them with saying, my challenge to you is to toss away your security blanket, blah, blah, blah. In addition to, to providing excellent transitions, metaphors really create a memorable image in your listener's mind. They can help you drive home your key point. Another transition is to display a, a different visual. A dramatically new visual popping up on a screen can replace the need for any verbal comment. Let a self-explanatory visual take your audience from point B, from point A to point B by adding humor, by throwing up a, a new statistic, by creating a question that you plan to answer as you lead into the next section of content. Or you could just simply pause for transition. Or you might just move to another spot in the room, change physical location. Or you could do all three, throw up a new visual, walk to a different spot in the room, have a dramatic pause, change the rate of speaking, a combined, a combination of all of those last three suggestions. All of those are ways that you can be more imaginative in your transitions. Like paragraphs on a page, transitions in your presentation guide your listeners from this point to that point. Use well, they aid clarity, and they increase retention. Take them seriously.